I like telling human stories with animal characters. It actually gets us out of our own way. We can see more of ourselves. I like that I can connect with so many different people using a mouse. I think we need more smiles in the world and, and part of the goal I have with my art is, is to make people smile and look at the world maybe in a little, little brighter way. My name is Katie Crawford Allen and I work predominantly in watercolor, sometimes watercolor and mixed media, and I also do uh, needle felting. I found one of those books you do in kindergarten where it says, I want to be when I grow up, and I wrote artist in there. But I wasn't that kid that was really good at art. And then I graduated, realized I didn't want to be an anthropologist, but I had started doing artwork again in college and started selling pieces, started making more pieces, and then started selling more pieces, and it kind of snowballed into a, a business from there. So if I'm doing a straight watercolor, I do a very, very detailed sketch and then I'll watercolor that until it's done. And then if I'm doing my mixed media backgrounds, I do the backgrounds with just own watercolor and I have no idea what they're gonna be. And I will sit there and stare at it. I will listen to some music that for some reason makes me come up with these ideas. And then I will paint the characters and the, the foreground part of it. So one is, I have the story and I have to get that onto the paper. And the other one is that I have nothing but these colors and these shapes. And then I have to tell a story based off of that. The needle felting I've only been doing for about three years now. What I really like about that is it in a way takes the characters off the page and puts them in, in your world. You go from an observer to a participant. It has a bit of a nostalgic feel to it. Kind of that hearkening back to those childhood toys, the well-loved kind of teddy bears. I do think a lot of times you can feel the history in a piece and you can feel that mystery element. And I like to bring that bit of kind of imagination into, I think, the stories that I tell with my work as well. I have felt this great sense of community in Fayetteville that I haven't had in the same way in other places. LeClaris has just completely <laughs> revolutionized the, the Fayetteville experience for me. Being able to walk to LeClaire's when I'm at a stopping point or it's like, I need a break. Let me go get a coffee, go talk to some creative people, and has made all the difference between a sort of isolating home studio and a home studio that feels like part of a community still. Taking art into the full-time business realm is being able to both look at it as a business, but also still acknowledge their creativity and try and find a balance between marketability and authenticity. Some of my greater leaps in my artistic journey have been spurred by having an audience constantly and being able to interact with people. 
So being able to pursue it full time has kind of given me more of an avenue to connect with other people. And there's a, a balance between what you want to produce and what people kind of need in their life or what they need out of artwork. I don't know that something I would have encountered if I hadn't started pursuing this as a business. To me, it's just fascinating to watch people put themselves into your art. Using animals prompts that because they're just, they're more comfortable with them, I think. It does draw from that, that childhood literary tradition of anthropomorphized animals. And from a very young age, we're kind of encouraged to, to see ourselves in these little animals and to see different personality traits in different animals. It's a lot of things that I draw from, from childhood that as we get older, end up having more meaning to us as adults. As a kid, you're encouraged to be creative and see the world in an imaginative way. And as you get older, it kind of gets pushed to the side and squashed a little bit. And so I, I really hope and try to bring that back to people and, and remind them that you can still look at the world that way. Just, just because it's imaginative doesn't mean it's only for the realm of children. <laughs>